Right. Yo, welcome back, UNCF. It's your boy TJ. What the Overcoming Family? It's your boy Larry, and we back with another episode. This week is episode eight. Thank y'all for tuning in with us once again. It's another week. Uh, we finna get into it. You know, like I said, that's Larry. I'm TJ. If you don't watch us weekly, um, but we got another lit episode, so we finna get into it, man. Cause what you got for him? All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start off with the remix. You know. Get, get, get remix. Y'all, get y'all some uh, get y'all some uh, music that that drop it. Y'all ain't know. Remix. First, I'm gonna, first I'm gonna start off with the with the uh, the albums, the uh, projects. If y'all if y'all would say it. All right, so. Mm-hmm. Polo Polo G dropped the album. Uh, Hall of Fame. Kodak Black drop. HBK. I guess that stands for Happy Birthday Kodak. Okay. Migos dropped Culture Three. Yes, sir. Yep. That that's it for the albums. Okay. Some singles, some some singles they'll drop. Gucci Man, Pooh Shotsy drop, Light 3418, Fredo Bang featuring NLE, Trust Issues, Tiger featuring Money Bad, Yo, Splash, Damn. Megan Thee Stallion, that shit. <laughs> Boy dropping this week. Young Blue featuring Two Chains of Chris Brown, Baddest, Young and Ace, Giving Up, French Montana, F F. W M G A B. You don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, yeah, y'all go. Y'all go. <laughs> to, don't know what that y'all, means. Y'all go tuning in there. Yeah, for sure. That Migos album hard, cause that Culture Three album hard. I ain't gonna cap. I like what they did with that album. That Ava- that that video too. Avalanche. Yeah, that video. They creative. I feel like they they just they was real creative on this on this uh on this project. They always creative. I feel like it's a it's it's more creative because it's three of them. Like they got three minds instead of one. I feel like they went they went hard on this one because everybody was talking like oh they fell off they they lost their touch so they had to you know what I'm saying they had to come back come back yeah. even harder this, this this album this album. Yeah, and it's like people be like uh, you know. People be forgetting sometimes like what everybody be meaning to the culture like. I think they they put themselves kind of in a position of like how Soldier Boy, like people be thinking Soldier Boy be like doing too much, but I feel like he be just like trying to get his credit. Yeah, cause feel me like cause I feel like it's a it's a it's a lot of shit. Kodak Black, I mean not damn, not Kodak Black. Soldier Boy that did that people ain't noticed to like just recently like, and then he would have to go go back and pull his receipts up. So and, he, and he be telling the truth. That's the lesson they were saying, like, bro, this man may sound crazy, but he telling the truth. Like, every like, time. The shit he did, oh, yeah, yeah, that shit crazy. Like, he ain't capping. He telling the truth every time, cuz. Like, if no cap was not, or if no cap was a person, it'd be Soldier Boy, cuz. Soldier yeah. Boy don't be telling no lies to these folks. And they be and they be trying to act like like if you if you go back and think because Soldier Boy really he really like the king of this shit because he started the social media wave when it came to the music shit so it's like he really got it like you know what I'm saying and, and, and all that and all that like dancing and shit that two step and all he I thought he started all that shit like if you want to be technical the TikTok shit was Soldier Boy like ahead of his time way ahead of his time because Crank that was like. You know what I'm saying? If Crank That would've came out today, it'd be like a TikTok phenom, like break TikTok. He he the, the song he, he he made, she make it clap clap. That's him. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. Oh did. yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that is him. She Damn, make it clap, right. yeah. clap clap. That's you know, him. You know, took over in this way too. Yeah, but I'm just saying when when Crank That first drop, if we would have had social media platforms like now, to where people could upload videos like that on TikTok or them doing yeah, that dance. That shit would have went banana. When, when I when I when I first heard the song, she make it clap. I ain't know that was him till he dropped a video to that bitch. I ain't know that was him. I ain't know that was him. Damn. But when he say Draco Soldier, I I I kind of figured that was him. Cause I'm like nobody else really sound like him when they say that, but him. You know what I'm saying? Especially saying Draco. Yeah, he <laughs> loves saying that. Draco. That boy. That boy. Yeah man. You said something about money bag? Yeah, he uh he uh he uh dropped the song with uh Tiger. Did Doug drop that or was that last week? That was last week. Yeah, no, cause Yeah. Week week before, week before. Oh okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Boy, that boy that boy Doug, man. Yeah. 
some shit because that's that's it for the for the, yeah. new, for the remix. Yeah. All right. Um, before I get into the understanding, cause I want to take some time out to talk about your trip. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, cause last week they don't know cause we had a video, but cause when uh. I had one to uh, San, San Juan, San Juan. <laughs> <laughs> San, San Juan, Puerto Rico, ain't gonna lie to uh, it, was, it, was, it was fun. I seen a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? I experienced a lot, a lot of different different foods. Yeah, man. Club went over there and was well, like the president, man. Man spent $25 round trip here and back on Spirit <laughs> Flight. Go to, go to Puerto Rico, come back <laughs> on, on the Spirit, man. Crazy, cause went over there and went balled out, man. Hey, I'm gonna get y'all a little. I'm gonna get y'all a little, a little, a little, a little, a little heads up. <laughs> if you in high school, middle school, take take Spanish seriously, man. Cause when you get the San Juan, all that, most of I say ninety five percent of the people who talk or the people over there, the menus or the food, all that shit is in Spanish. So it's about five percent of people who work in restaurants or people who stay over there talk English. So Damn. I advise you to take Spanish seriously because I went over there and it was so lost. Couldn't order nothing. I had to I had to go by the go by pictures. I couldn't I couldn't read the menu. I had to give go me by, that. I had to go by pictures. What is that? Oh, give me that right there. It's like, yo, man, that's crazy. Now nah, that's real though. Take them take your uh, foreign languages serious in uh, high school and middle school whenever y'all take them because you never know when you're gonna need that in life. That's one thing in school. I think they them teaching us was. Something we should have took. More important, cause, cause you I mean, never know when you gonna need that. I ain't gonna lie, I was just trying to get get by that shit. I wasn't really actually learning. I was just trying to get get by. But hey, if you go to go to San Juan, make sure you make sure your money right, cause you, you gonna you gonna need it over there. Expensive club. Yes, yeah, cause that shit. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie, it, it's it's worth it though. That shit worth it though. That shit fun. I ain't gonna lie. Cause you was out there on the boat. No, nah, we had oh we had went we had went kayaking and we it was it was a lake with manatees in it. It's was, it was a great experience. Manatee, from out, out of your peripheral. Uh, manatee look like a shark. Manatee like, like a whale. So, get back, get back. Manatee look like manatee look like something different, boy. I, I, I peripheral, boy. Nah, the the kayak like right here. I say it was like to the wall. The manatee, but it it won't it won't it won't come close to the boat. Like like it'll just like come up and go back down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But shit, I guess that's straight. You feel me? If you don't, you know what I'm saying. Other than that. That's uh, that's pretty much all y'all did. No, nah, y'all did other stuff. I think you told me y'all went, uh, went all the kayaking and all that too. But yeah. you went to the beach. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. You oh, saying oh, the water the over there looked nice. Was, beach was beautiful. Ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just show that. Yeah. Yeah, man. She was lit. <laughs> all right. But yeah, I just want y'all to know what Cuz had took his uh. His excursion, his spirit flight. He took spirit flight over there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Got over hey. there and, and balled out, man. Over Round there trip like for $50. Over there looking like a king, man. Living like a king, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Get out and experience life. Don't let COVID hold y'all back, man. You know, oh, yeah, get before, your back. Yeah, soon. I forgot about that, man. Before you before you, before you, you even go to Puerto Rico, you, you got you to gotta take a COVID test. That's anywhere now, I feel like. And then when you, when you reach... And then when you reach over there, you you uh you uh gotta show them show them your QR code. Yeah, uh, make sure you do it because they don't want you bringing that over there. Then they don't want you leaving with it. You gotta you gotta show them the uh the code when you get back. But yeah, though overall it was a it was a good experience though. I tried different food. Majority majority of the food over there was tacos. It was it was some uh it was some it was some uh it was some restaurants over there that 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 I I knew particularly from from Florida like churches, uh KLC, Wendy's, uh Cold Stone. So oh yeah, I forgot the sub subway sell pasta breakfast. And they and they sell uh uh Chick Chick Fil A fries like the waffle fries they sell that so you can get a uh, sub with a cookie and some fries and a drink. Oh <laughs> that's my it. god, that's it crazy over there. Also, stay man, Subway ain't supposed to be selling all that man, but I guess over there they can sell what they want to sell. That shit, that shit is crazy over there like that. That shit is, I I say, but oh yeah, the, oh yeah, the, also the 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 beef. If you if you ever go over there, if you rent a car, you gotta be careful, man. That that drive over there is terrible. Them roads, that traffic is terrible. Yeah, man. 
It's like what they, they they don't drive on the other side of the road, do they? They drive on the same side we drive on, right? Yeah. Oh, but okay, it's okay. just it's just ridiculous. Uh, Potholes. People are, people emerging in your land. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> right <next to> you. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's ridiculous, yeah, man. But yeah, so I'm gonna get into the upper standard for the week. You know what I'm saying? That was it. You all you had on the trip. Yeah. The trip. Uh, okay. So, um, really and truly, I just want to say, uh, don't be afraid to get your own, man. Uh, I was like thinking last week about something that uh, took place in my life, or like life lesson, something I had learned from my pops. Um, so, uh, if y'all don't know, my pops was uh, incarcerated for seven years, and um, I spent a lot of time, you know, visiting him, going to see him. Yada yada yada. So, um, one time I had went up there, cause and I'm sitting in the in the in the, in the visiting park, whatever you call it, with him. And um, he uh, it was it was it was it was a it was a, it was a lady visiting somebody that was in the, mm-hmm. but she looked, you know, she was bad. She looked good. So, you know me, I'm I'm looking, you know, I'm 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 glued to it, cause I'm like, you know. Hey, it is what it is. Like, I'm like, <laughs> a move or something. You know what I'm saying? Just being young, like you know what I'm saying. Just not caring, like. So like my my daddy, he kind of like my pop. He kind of like see me looking. So he like I'm like saying like damn, she look. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling him that. So he like basically telling me like you know man. Nah, like he basically telling me like you know that's that man. Like you feel me? Like and that's crazy because he in here with him like. If anything, he should be looking like he should be more looking. You know what I'm saying? But he telling me like he bought. He basically was breaking it down to me like, you know, kings like kings don't worry about what you like. I ain't worrying like kind of piggybacking off what we said last week about the wall situation. But it's like kings don't be worried about what other kings got going on in their kingdom. Like you got like if I got if I if, if I rule my kingdom and everything in my kingdom is mine. Then I shouldn't be worried about what you got in your kingdom, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's yours. Oh, everything going good, you ain't got no problems or that. Why you worrying about something? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. that's and that's your kingdom, like. And it's a grand thing. This ain't no small thing, you know what I'm saying? But like, I I took that to to, to heart, like, damn, you right, like, you know what I'm saying? Like that is that man, lady, like, why? You don't know what he went through to, you know what I'm saying? To get her, you don't know what they relationship like. Like, why would you want to try to do something or work a move? Uh, intervene on something that you know what I'm saying, like you don't, you know what I mean. That one, that ain't my place. But he basically like what I, what he, what he did explain to me it was like, you can admire what that man has in the woman and see physically because you don't really know her. You just looking on the outside and you can say, I want to mold my like I want a woman like that. Yeah, I want a woman to look like that. Whole, you know what I'm saying? whole time she could, she could be the reason he in there. Exactly. <laughs> he is you know what I'm yeah, you right. Exactly, cool, but. Just like, just, just, just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even when you see people on IG with certain stuff, like, don't be so quick to want to just take people, like, you know what I'm saying? Get your own, bro. Like, take pride in getting your own, like, whatever that may be. Like, getting your own car, your own clothes, your own bag, you know what I'm saying? Let that man rock out with his stuff. Like, you ain't got to always take nobody's stuff, man. You can, you can you can build your own empire. You can build your own destiny, your own legacy. You don't have to live in another man's shadows. You don't need another man's sloppy seconds. You know what I'm saying? And and um, I feel like the world would be a better place because if we did also stop wanting to take what everybody else got and you know use it for inspiration and admiration and and and, and build our own. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's that's basically what I wanted to say this week about that. Let me let me pick back off that because some some yeah. people see what you got and. And 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 they don't even they don't even want it cause they like it or cause they want it or need it. They they sometimes they they just be wanting it or or just want to have it cause they see you got it. Like it don't even, it don't even be no type of oh that's hard like like say if you got some shoes or a car or something like like it's it like oh that's hard that's that not nice, nice shoes something like that they 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 like. Um, I I like it, but I don't. I, don't, I, I just want it because he got it or something. Like it's, mm-hmm. it's that shit weird. Like it's uh yeah. It, I'm trying to think of like how I can even talk about that. Like seeing, cause I ain't never been a person that really just wants something 
You know what I'm saying? Because of what somebody else got. Like, like I said before, I, I honestly, I honestly feel more like the person that look at stuff and be like, like if I see somebody with some new shoes, if I like the shoes, it may not be those shoes, but it may inspire me to go a little harder to uh, get some more money to get me some shoes, yeah. but some new shoes just in the same concept. But I don't think I ever wanted to just go grab. Like I don't think I ever looked at somebody's shoes in my life and ran and got the same pair of shoes. Yeah, me, I, I, I'd be like, if I see you like some shoes, I'm like, well, them hard, but I probably won't go get the same. I probably get like a different color pair. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, but I'll get the shoe though. But you know what I'm saying? Just but not gonna get the same color yeah. or nothing like that. Yeah, that's right. Like I, I just or, never been. Yeah, oh my, my bad. No, bro. go ahead. Or I, I'm, I, I might get the same color, but like dress a little different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or it's a lot of people that get the same color shoes and don't wear shoes like till later on. Like, yeah. like celebrities do that. Like you know they have so many shoes. Like they, oh I like them. Where you got them from? Oh, I'm gonna go cop them. They go get them, but they don't even wear them the same year. Like they, ten years from now they might pull them back out. You know what I'm saying or something like that. But it's just the, it's just the, it's just the, it's just the motivation I feel like when I get on IG and I get on Rick Ross page or I, I get lost on Rick Ross page and see his house. Or I see. You know what I'm saying? It's cause stuff. It's not. It's not in my mind. Of, oh damn, I gotta go get that because Ross got that. It's like, oh, I could have a house like you know what I'm saying. Like, oh, I could, I could live on all them acres of land. I could, I could, I could, I could hustle like him and build my own destiny and build my own legacy and own all these different franchises and have these different whips and have all these cars in front of my house and be in movies. You know what I'm saying? It be the inspiration. Like motivation. I'm not trying to be him. I want to be molded like that i want to be set up like that when i get to that age you know what i'm saying that's what i'm saying motivation so, purposes only yeah you know what i mean it's never to be a copycat or be unauthentic or be not original you know what i'm saying so yeah for the most part that's just that's just what i want to talk about this week because i'm understanding is get get your own and keep your own and um also too to uh, close out on that is the karma that come with taking another man's stuff the same way you get a girl, same way you get anything, is the way you're going to lose it. So if you work hard and you get something, nine times out of ten, it's going to work hard to stay with you. It's going to work hard to stick with you. If you if it took you long to get it, nine times out of ten, it's going to take you long to lose it. If it come quick, nine times out of ten, it's going to leave quick. So always remember, however you do anything in life, the karma in life is real. I know a lot of people don't believe in that, cause, but I do. I believe that whatever you do, whatever energy you put out into the world, the deeds that you do to other people definitely come back to you. It may not be that same year. It may be 10, 20 years from now, but it do come back. Karma, so. karma is real. Yeah, definitely, for sure. Karma is 100, 1,000% real. So, um, yeah, that's that on that, man. Um, So, yeah. Don't hit him. I got a, I got a, I got a couple things I want to talk about. This, 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 this. Break the ice on the, on this yeah. episode. Let these people know what's on your mind. Because I got some stuff on my mind, too. Cause. A couple things I want to talk about. That's first, first of all, I want to talk about. I know I know, I know. know some of y'all, or well, I know the majority of the men watch, watch the uh, NBA, the, uh, the, the playoffs, the finals, and all that. Facts. I was watching uh, the, the Nets and the... Uh, the uh, the Bucks uh game man uh somebody had foul uh Ante Kumbo. yeah he was he, yeah he was at the uh, he was at the free throw line. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Bro? It's like it's like he was he was he was in, in warm or something like that like he was like in practice or something like he was at the the at the free throw line. He, <laughs> the ball hit the ref ain't passing the ball he was like this cause he finally he finally did keep doing this he finally got the ball cause he. Oh, to my, he ain't shooting yet. He he practicing, cause all you all, 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 all I hear is brrr, the ref on the whistle. <laughs> <laughs> he looking, he looking around like what's going on. And and and, and later on, when I, when I had found out what, what happened, is they they had they had called a ten second rule on him, cause you can't be at the field line more than ten seconds. I ain't know that till till I I, I had I had went on Instagram and uh had Damn. had seen him post it. Did I know that? 
I think I may have heard that a mm-hmm. while ago, but I ain't. That's something that ain't happened in a while. I never. And my, I, that's my first time seeing that from watching basketball all my life. Cause in my first, you were lost when you seen it. Cause I ain't, I, I ain't know what happened. Cause mm-hmm. like all I seen was him bouncing the ball. And they just blew the whistle. <laughs> man, keep it ball, man. Come on, man. You, you, you taking it, holding up the game, I'm man. I'm talking about cut a man like he in, like he in practice at the free throw line, like he in in the, in the open gym. Just taking his time, cuz. So he didn't have a physical, he didn't have an actual basketball? He did, and before he he did have oh, the ball, he, he was, kept doing it. Yeah, it's like he kept bouncing oh, yeah. the ball, like, 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 but. Y'all is tripping. But, but they, but they say he not, he not, uh, good at, at, uh, free throws like that, so that's why he keep, that's why he keep doing that like that. Oh, he, he kind of, I think he, yeah, he done scared himself to the point where he got to, now he like really, really doubting himself, like, I hope I, like, cause he done shot a lot of air balls. At the free throw line, so he he it, that's a mental thing. He gotta he gotta break that because not mentally he he's he's scared. Nah, not scared, but he like praying that he don't mess up when he get to the free throw line. The nah. thing is, though, I feel like you ain't you ain't you ain't gotta be the he, he don't even gotta be the best shooter. Cause it's it's just what 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 other things he can do like drive to the hole from 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 court to goal to goal and don't like he oh, he, yeah, he, he can he can get the rebound and go. All the way down the court, cause and just dunk it, cause like he only gotta be the perfect shooter. Like, nah, everybody good at different stuff. Like, you yeah. But like he, nah, he can't be out there like getting the ten second though, cause like, cause like that's them points he left. Like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't even tried. Like, you if you would have shot it and missed it, at least I could live with that. But now we don't know if you would have shot it. We don't know if you would have made it or missed it. That's like, you. that's like what Jordan Jordan said. He, Jordan, I, I seen a quote about Jordan. He said about some. He said you will you will miss. 100 percent of the shots you don't take like exactly like, all because you yeah. scared of failing like you in the nba you you Giannis, Giannis is in the nba like you done made it you ain't got nothing to prove to these people talking about you airball shaq never cared about people saying he was a horrible free throw shooter never because because until kumbo he he's probably no doubt probably the top 10 player in the in the league right now yes and they know that. But people just making fun of you because you a bad free throw shooter. But that don't make you sorry. Like, he, he ain't garbage. He's definitely not sorry. Yeah, so it's like. I done seen that man get the ball and, 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 and run point guard cause from court to court. Yep. Dunking, on, dunking on people. Yeah, that's real. Doing, doing, having his way, having his way with them people out there, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. But yeah, it was, it was just crazy how to die. I ain't never seen it happen to nobody up before. Take yeah. ten seconds at the free throw line, like you know how long that is, cause just this is shoot a free throw, and it was more than ten seconds, cause they probably started the ten seconds when he got the ball, so it's like he was up there for a long time. I know the people was looking at him like, damn, yeah, that's crazy. He probably just lost track of time in his mind of what was going on. Like he probably just was trying to practice, 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 and you know, end up losing track of time, man. Damn, Giannis. But yeah, let me let me let me let me bring up let me bring up a point I want us to talk about because is the fact that I don't I know you saw um but the twenty nine year old man that shot the six year old boy the little black boy um I just I I, I honestly be I be lost sometimes and this shit that I mean that 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 just had me lost cause like it, I don't know what possess I don't know what take over you. To look out the door or look out the window in your in your front yard and see a six year old boy and shoot like I don't understand what come like what like what in your mind like what what drove him to do that? At first he said he was he was he was gonna get a, a sledgehammer or not uh, a machete, but 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 he I, I believe he he shot him instead. I guess in his mind that was better. I don't I don't I don't understand because like. I had so many. I had so many questions. It's, yeah, like I got questions. Like I, I, I'm just trying to figure out what was threatening about the six year old boy. Probably, I feel. I feel like the the, the little boy probably kept kept going to, kept going to his yard. He probably got tired, but that don't mean that don't mean you go you go get a gun and shoot him. Like it's so many options. He could have. Like what if he would have killed the little boy off of some trying to get his bike out to the yard? Like obviously he didn't care. Once you once you pull your gun, and at that point, on an adult pulling your gun, that means you don't. It's like, hey, 
you don't pull your gun at this point. Like on the on the six year old, you you a monster, dog. Like on the on the six year old, like seven years, six seven. I forgot how old he was. You ain't got no conscience. But like, I feel like you can't. I feel like that's that's a child. that's that's, that's, that's genuinely to be like in a, a mental facility or something like yeah. Just because he was trying to get his bike out to his his his, his bike out your yard. Nah. He. What I also want to know is why his bike was in the yard. I don't know if he put the bike there. Like I don't know if he was in, if it was inside his yard or if it was like by the fence. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like I for the life of me, cuz can't figure out what like. What about the six year old boy made him feel some type of way about me? Like the six okay, even if you even if the six year old boy in your yard, what is he gonna do to you? Like what was he gonna do to you? That still don't get him the right to pull a gun or get a machete. They don't even Yeah, yeah we uh, that's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is is even if cause even if a six year old if I looked out my yard and see a six year old boy, me being a twenty nine year old man, there's nothing that he can do to me. Unless he pull up a gun, pull out a gun and just put it, point his gun at me. If he just in my yard, what is he going to, what is the six year old boy going to do to me? What is he going to do to it's, me? It's summertime. Kids going to be outside. They going to be in riding. Like, like, they gonna be, come on, bro. Kid can't even be a kid no damn more. Especially a black kid. I don't even know if it would have been different if he wasn't black. It wouldn't be different because you don't put your gun out on nobody. But what I'm saying is, it's just for the fact of. Him being the race that he, I think he like uh, Asian or something like the way Asian his name, Chinese. Looked, yeah, the way his name look, um, he looked like he's uh, Asian or Chinese or whatever. But you, uh, y'all just had a situation going on with hate crimes on that race in America just a couple, couple weeks or a month or so ago when Biden, Biden signed that bill. Yeah, yeah. And now you shoot a six year old black kid in the arm. It's like. Was the, did, did them signing the bill think make him think that he was above or superior of black people the way he could do something like that? You know what you know what's crazy and what what blew my mind is he got he got a ten thousand dollar bond he got out, but thank God it though he went back they had raised his bond so he had to go back in jail because the public was so like furious they like they caused so much commotion about that so he he went back to jail. Hmm. So but now he got a, he out again, or he got a higher no, bond. He got a high bond, so he had to go back to jail. But I feel like why why the public had to do something for y'all to keep go take him back. To, he shouldn't got a he shouldn't he shouldn't be out in the first place. That's what we was just talking about last week, cause well not last week was it last week? Week before about the presidential thing. Yeah, it's like it's like man, we on it's like we man. I don't know, cause it's like we don't even make. I don't even know. It's like we don't even make sense here. Like, you shoot us, you kill us, you shooting our kids now. Nah. Like, it's like we don't. It's like we don't like we like we animals or something. Like we just like they just hunting us like we in the wild like we deer or something. Like, like it it take the public to to do riots and all that shit for us to get noticed or get heard or uh, get tested. It's like it should have come to that shit. Like what? What? Like I don't, I don't understand it. Like. It shouldn't be no way that he get at least on a 10k bond. 10k bond, what? When when you get a bond, you don't pay like five percent. What it is like? What five thousand or something like? Uh, I don't know. I don't, Somewhere around. It yeah. might even not be even that. Cause yeah, yeah, like so he so he really just got a slap on the wrist. It's it's to the it's just it's just it's just like sickening to be thinking like that you could possibly get away with some shit like that like. Like yo, now we getting into the kid. Like we getting into the chill. Like you, you shooting kids, nah. Like this six year old boy ain't like you could have killed him. Like he, his life ain't even. He six, cause like he ain't begun to do. He ain't even begin to bullet. Live. Bullet probably big, big, bone, bu- bu- bigger yeah. than his arm. Yeah, big, you know what I'm saying, cause he could he, he like you know what I'm saying. Like how how would you feel as a as a parent? You 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 in your house watching TV or uh, trying to take a nap. Uh, anything and you somebody come banging on your door oh my god oh my god yo yo uh, son, yo yo uh, son just got, got shot, shot or something like that you down, like what down the road at your neighbor your neighbor just shot your son in the arm no like how would you like what like um and you just supposed to be okay with it i guess the way that the way the way that the way that he said he was finna get a sludge for him to make that kind of remark to be like, oh well, I was gonna get a sludge him. It's like, okay, so you just 
now you boisterous with like you like you you confident with the situation like you that's like, what i'm saying like i was gonna get a slut you know what i'm saying like okay like it's bad enough you shot the boy now you talking about what you was gonna do before that like that's the thing in the in the in the in the judge the police the, everybody they didn't see that as weird like crazy yeah. They don't think it's weird and crazy that he shot a six-year-old boy in the arm, cause because they gave him a ten thousand dollar bond. He physically shot the boy, but I'm it's it's people I'm sure right here around here in the same city, cause that done shot in the air or shot at other stuff that didn't hit people and had a higher bond than that. Didn't, I'm, didn't I'm even positive. probably got years, cause didn't didn't even get a bond, didn't even get a. I'm a I'm hundred percent sure. 33rd of like a goddamn university over there, cause I can almost guarantee you is somebody sitting in 33rd right now with no bond for some shit that was way less detrimental than what he did. I can promise you that. That's that's just like the uh, I forgot a couple years back the, uh, the, uh, the 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 it was a mom she shot off some warning shots in the air for some reason I forgot and she got like 12. I think I think like fifteen years, something like ten years, something like that. Just 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 was shooting shots and warning. I forgot it was warning shots or something like that. She was she shot a gun in the auto and got ten years and didn't hurt hurt nobody because it got years. You just shot a six year old kid. That's what everybody missing. I, I just don't understand that because that's that 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 headline right there. Make me think of like a hoax or something like that. I can't even believe that till I seen the video. Cause I'm like, man, that's that's crazy. That Look, shit like that gotta stop. It says right here. I'm, I'm uh, I had pulled up. Y'all, my bad, my bad. It was uh August no, in May May twelfth, May uh May twelfth, twenty 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 twelve. Thirty one year old Marissa was prosecuted for aggravated assault with a oh, lethal weapon. And a and a receipt a mandatory minimum sentence of twenty years in prison. Cause oh, Alexander, now it's the same one. She said Alexander said that she fired a warning shot after her husband was attacked, turned threatened to kill him August first in twenty ten. Oh, that's a lady. Yeah, that's a lady. Oh, so she got ten years. No, she got twenty. Damn. For 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 shooting a warning shot in the air because her husband attacked her. And you just shot a six year old, and you got a bond. Huh? How that? How that? She got aggravated assault with lethal weapon and received a mandatory minimum of 20 years, cuz. I don't get it either, cuz. Your guess is as good as mine. I but, wish somebody could give us some answers, but they can't. But an Asian man shot a, a kid for getting his bike out of the yard and got a bond. He probably, he probably got out the next day, cuz. Yeah. This is the very next day. He probably didn't even stay that day, cuz. He probably got out hours later. He probably got out late that night. I just don't understand, man. Shit, and it's okay. like the shit, the shit that make me mad is the fact that when people out here in the world do crazy shit like that, and you get them that little bond, and you 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 basically be showing the fucking world that it's okay to do shit like that. When you let a police officer shoot a black man or kill somebody and let him get off, you are sending a direct message to the world, letting them know that you are able to do shit like this. And not go to jail. You sending that message out. So that's why he felt comfortable enough to do that. Shoot a fucking six year old kid in the arm. Is because he know that y'all don't give a damn. Y'all don't care about anything that's going on with that little boy. Because of his color of his skin. And he felt like he was comfortable enough to shoot the boy. Because he felt like ain't nothing going to happen to me. Hell, George Zimmerman killed Trayvon Martin. And he's still walking around free. And that shit happened way long time ago. Trayvon Martin went six. But shit, he wasn't grown. But his killer still walking around every day, all day. Just a boy coming from the corner store, minding his business. He, that shit, that they that. ain't see, they ain't see nothing wrong with him killing him. He walking free. So what that man? Hey, I, I guess he say shit. Cause hey, ain't shit gonna happen to me. Nah, you now you think that the the uh, story would have been different if the boy was seriously hurt or, or died. Cause, cause, cause the bullet say just went through, like it just went through, so it ain't really on his arm, like. But it's still a that. little boy though. But you, you think, you think that the, the little man, he would, he would stay in jail if he would have got like critical he condition died. or critical condition. I can't say that because I don't even. 
I feel like though the way this just system set up, he probably would have. He would have. It would have. I feel like it would have been the same shit. Yeah. He probably would have got got up, got up, got a bond still. He probably would. He probably would have lied and said the boy. You know what I'm saying? They took the damn boy that did the mass shooting in at the church. Didn't they take him to Burger King before they took him to jail? Like. Mm-hmm, man, they pick and choose. They got favoritism in the justice system in America, man. They pick and choose who they want to do what with. They pick and choose how they want you to you, you to be portrayed in the media. They pick and choose what they want to do, man. They don't. Everybody don't get a fair shake in this in this country, and we all know that. You know that ain't that ain't something uh, that's foreign over here. So, but that situation, that cause ain't no, you can't make ain't nothing you can say to no, make convi- that right. Convince me to think that's right. That's not right at all. Like. You what? You couldn't like that. Ain't no way that six year old boy threatened your life. He ain't, he ain't make you feel no. It ain't no way. I can't unless he like I say. Cause unless he had a gun pointing it directly at you to make you feel like you was about to die. But if he just coming in your yard to get his bike, even if he not asking you to come in the yard, even if he coming in in your yard, okay, you can come out your house when that boy get his bike. If you a neighbor, I'm sure you see his parents and him all the time. You can find his parents and tell you his parents he was in your yard trying to get his bike. And I'm sure they would have dealt with that accordingly. You did not have to pull your gun out and shoot him in the arm. For what? Well, for what? Because you, you probably had to go get your gun, come out your front door, walk, walk. I don't think he came out. Cause I think he shot out the window. Oh. I think the story was he pointed, he shot him from the from his window. Like inside the house, but even that, like, I don't know. It's just crazy. Like, it just make me like, I don't know, man. Like, you now you can't even how you now your six year old kid can't even ride his bike in the neighborhood. He put his bike down in the wrong yard or put his bike down on the sidewalk at the wrong house. He might get shot, man. It's just crazy, man. Might get, might get shit. shot. Might, might die. Might get in critical condition. God damn, now, now I see why, 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 uh. Why, why, uh, people, people don't, 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 don't let kids come outside. Yeah, it's it's safe for to stay inside and and be on the video game, rather than you be a six year old kid out here in the world, trying to run around and be a six year old kid get shot in the arm. And the little boy he running down the street screaming he shot me he shot me like he should never he should never had to even say that. Cause boy probably gonna be traumatized for the rest of his life. Probably probably ain't gonna ain't gonna want to ride a bike no more. Come outside gonna, no he's more. He's probably scared to come outside. Definitely gonna be scared to walk by his house. Man, that shit crazy, cuz. But yeah, I just wanted to bring that to the light on 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 the, on the show today, man. Cause that shit, when I saw that, I was like, ain't no way, man. I thought that was fake. I'm like, there's no way somebody shot a six year old kid. But I was wrong, cuz. Definitely shot him. And I wanna uh, I wanna bring up another another thing. I don't know, man. Shit, just it's crazy. When these when these celebrities when these celebrities have family members they celebrate family members' birthday, they stop stop telling them what you think they should buy their family member with their money. Oh yeah, I get what you're saying. Like 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 uh yeah, go finish. Finish. I got something I want to say. Like young, young blue. It was his sister. She recently had a birthday. I went. I was thinking it was Friday or Saturday. She recently had a birthday. Uh, Thursday, one of them, and he bought her a Chrysler two hundred. Mm-hmm. It was. It was. It wasn't like a twenty twenty one. It wasn't an exotic or a foreign car. It was a regular, regular car. From it wasn't nothing wrong with the car. The car looked fine to me. Uh huh. But since it wasn't a. A Lamborghini or a Audi or Mercedes, they they was in the comments clowning like, oh oh wow, you got all this money and you can you couldn't afford to get her no no 2021 2022 car like like I'm talking about car in the comments going crazy they like you got they like they they were like you got you got you got a song with Drake you could you could have got got her a better car than that I'm like it was some people saying why 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 would he get her a, a Lamborghini. Or uh, 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 like saying shit like that, like a Porsche, like when probably she didn't want that, or she probably can't maintain the maintenance, or she or uh, making her like a target or something like that, because you know people teasing you like with nice stuff, and you 
Why would yeah, he? Uh, what, 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 what I want to know is. Uh, that's good. What I want to know is. Is why do people care? Like, why do you care? Like, you ain't got shit else to do with your time today. <laughs> like, you they, ain't got nothing. Oh, you ain't yeah, had nothing they, to do today. They they feel like since you got money. Everybody around you supposed to look look like they got it too. Uh, I don't, I don't you understand. Mentioned, yeah, you, yeah. Oh yeah, it say here on Google that you work this and this and this. So you should have been able, you should have been able to buy this and this and that. You ain't gonna bet. He he would have never been able to win that situation, cause cause even if he bought her a Lamborghini, people would have been in the comments saying she didn't need a Lamborghini. Oh my God, I'm I'm, I'm glad you out of there, cause if she if they would have bought her if the, if we had bought her a, a 2021 Porsche. Uh, like the like the, the 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 top of the line of Porsches, and I'm like, oh, why, why he bought that? You know, no, she can't afford that monthly love maintenance. You know how you know how much expensive you know how expensive it is on a tire for a car the, the, like the, that. The oil tank like five hundred dollars, man. Like, you can't win, you can't win people, cause you you get you get them an old car. They complain about oh, you should, you should got her a new a car, a new twenty twenty one. You got get her a new car. They like oh, why you got her? She you gonna make her a Target. You know she can't afford that. So it's like what 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 you do what you do? Cause our generation, <laughs> our generation is some nosy motherfuckers, man. These folk be in your damn bit. Cause I never seen a generation like you would have never been able to even know this man even bought his sister a car back. Like you would have, cause nobody would knew she had a car that was new until she drove it around and they seen her in per- Like you would have never knew like just Ew. because this man posted this now everybody in their mama got something to say about this shit like. Who cares? Like you ain't have to buy the car, you ain't have to. You don't gotta fix the car. You went at the party to see her get the car. You don't know nobody that he related to. You don't. You don't even know that she might. She might have even asked him to get that specific car. She could have got on. She could have got in the comments and said that. Cause she and they, could've, she could have said they, thank you for giving me exactly what I wanted. And they still have been like, nah, he probably made you made you say that. Like, bitch, what? Or they would have said, why you? Why would you want that? Like, what's wrong with her? Why she want that? Like, people, cause people is crazy. Cause just just as crazy as he was to shoot that six year old kid. Cause them people just as crazy to sit on social media and worry about what another man doing with his money. I don't understand how you could. I don't understand how you could. Uh, that's like, is that a form of pocket watching? Cause like. That's kind of like pocket watching. That's like on um, paid in full when um when Uncle I think his name what's his name Uncle Sly or Uncle Uncle um what's his name the uncle that uh that killed Sonny that he would always be like I can smell a nigga with money I can sm- but I know you're shining you got I can see anybody can see Ray Charles can see you got money I forgot nigga name but that was a hang ass nigga like you you you. That worry about what this man got on it going on in his pockets that you can't even go out here and get your own money. You you so focused on his money, like that's oh my god, that's that's amazing though. Girl got a brand new car for her birthday. Everybody else, is ice. That's what his name was. Ice. Yeah, the Uncle nigga. Ice. Uncle ice. ice. Uncle Ice. Girl got a brand new car for her birthday. Probably you know it's paid off. She ain't got no payments. Thing about it is, thing about it is, cause she 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 don't look no more than older than us, cause she probably like ah uh, age probably like in the range of eighteen to twenty twenty four, cause she like in that range. So it probably might be her first car, cause yeah, you right, cause and from 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 take it from two people that that made car payments, that pay car insurance, that really have to that really have to uh pay every month for cars that then 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 seen them car payments. That's a blessing. Or to changes, tires. To, Cause they have a brand new car with new tires, new oil, new engine, everything new, and no payments is a blessing. He just ain't have to buy just her because no it ain't it ain't, ain't twenty twenty one don't mean that shit not new. He ain't have to buy her no lemon. Cause that that car could be a twenty fourteen with only twenty thousand miles. That's that's brand new, cause brand new. That's brand new. She got a slider, is what we call it. He got slider. a slider, man. Slider. Just by him buying her a new car, he could have saved her. He could, he done saved her so many years of hassle, so many years. Cause. I'm pretty sure she ain't paying for this. All she got worried about is the gas, the maintenance. That's all she got worried about. I'm all pretty sure about. The, he, he on he on she on his insurance. Oh, the mama, the daddy. I don't know. I'm pretty sure she all she got worried about is the, the oil, the brakes, the rotors. You know what I'm saying? Cleaning it, washing it. You know what I'm saying? Look, 
the gas. I see everybody. That, 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 that ain't nothing, cuz. That was a that was a re- that's what you call a responsible decision. Young Blue made a re- he he made a responsible decision. That wasn't that one a decision that was you could tell he he made a responsible decision. He know his sister. He know what his sister is capable of doing. He know what she can and can't do. He know what he can and can't do. If he felt like at this point in her life she didn't need a Lamborghini, he bought her the car that he felt like she needed. Cool. Like, it's more responsible to get her something that she can maintain and so she can stay ahead than to get her something that could put her either in debt or put him in debt. You know what I'm saying? So that was that was that was the most solid decision in my opinion that he that when he he made by getting that car. He made a solid decision. People like even this situation with money bag yo when he bought Ari the Lamborghini. Oh yeah. Okay, but this 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 woman can she can maintain that Lamborghini. She can buy one. She 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 she, she bought him a Maybach. Exactly. She can maintain that Lamborghini. So he his that situation was responsible on him because he buy he's buying somebody a car that play in that field. She that's not her first time driving nice cars. You know what I'm saying? She played in that field. She's in that tax break the way she can. If that Lamborghini tail up, she don't have to call him to get he could be overseas doing the show. She can get she can go get that fixed. Pretty sure he she got that like, I'm pretty sure a two hundred thousand dollar car got a lifetime warranty on that bill because But I'm saying if anything was to take place. Yeah. She got the money to take care of it. That's what yeah. I'm saying. So Cause when you make decisions like that, you gotta think about all that. Like he bought her the land for his her, her birthday. He she doubled back and bought him the the yeah. S five fifty Maybach. That shit probably worth the same more, price and more. more. Yeah. Then then and, and she got the custom wrap the interior. That shit probably equal up more than that land. Yeah, you're right. Cause that yeah he sh- people just need to stay the hell out of people business man. And it be the it, it be the people in the comments that 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 oh, yeah. don't got no car <laughs> don't got. <laughs> Wishing the nigga buy you that car. That, that's your dream car. You dream your dream car is don't, a Lamborghini. Don't got a pot of piss in the wood to throw it out of. You want the Lamborghini, so you you mad cause he bought his he ain't buy his sister the Lamborghini, you want it. Or if he would have got her the they was like, I don't like that color. Why he got that color? Man, yeah. if it was me, yeah. boy, I, my dream car is man, everybody asked me what your dream car was. You ain't gonna never get it cause you sitting on IG with me rapping by what he should have bought his he should have bought his sister for her birthday. You obviously, you obviously don't plan on getting no Lamborghini no time soon, cause you ain't putting no effort into even going out here hustling to get no Lamborghini. I bet, I bet if he was, if he was childish and, and uh, clap back in one of the the, 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 the comment, he 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 would have been like, he'd been like, what you what you what you bought your sister for her birthday? And like crickets. No one nobody would answer. I ain't got no sister, bro. But if you did, what you would have bought her? He wouldn't have got her a cake. <laughs> Went to public and bought her. <laughs> with the Publix and bought her a cake, so, cuz. 24 count cupcakes with, with the sales. <laughs> and don't even get a name on it, cuz. Just, just bought her the cupcakes. Man, people is weird, man. That'd we gotta be the... do better. I, we gotta do better, cuz. We gotta do better, dog. This shit getting crazy, man. I wanna, I, I don't know if you've seen, cuz, um, Denmark, the guy, Chris, I think his name is Christian Erickson. Hmm. He, uh, they was playing. He collapsed during the game. Like he was, he was running to the side, and he just fell out. Mm-hmm. And they, uh, yeah, he, uh, he played for Denmark. He like, um, it was on, it was on the news. He was, he was running, but just playing normal soccer game. And he died. Nah, they say he had a heart attack. With soccer, yeah. Soccer, just, that, that, that's, running that's, running. that's a, that's a big oh, ass feel. Oh. I be seeing them breaking their fucking slam, they chins, all that, shit. kicking that ball and shit. Running the whole game, that big ass feel. That's but that shit, shit was scary because everybody like come like they really didn't understand like, you know what I'm saying? What like what 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 happened? Like he just fell out like all his teammates. He had like, a stroke, you said, or heart attack? Nah, they say he suffered from a uh, something. That ha- I think he had a heart attack before, and, and like he basically like they were saying he was dead. Huh? And they like resuscitated him and brought him back to life, and like carried him out on the stretcher. That he was, but it was like he died for a minute, like on the field, like he was dead, like before they like you know like they do like clear like they oh like they say he, yeah they said he had like that's what made him fall out like he like his heart had stopped basically like during the, like so he like literally died on TV during the game yeah. 
like everybody in the stadium, like all them and during the game, like he on the field, like he collapsed on the field, like just almost out of there, like that shit does. Almost, he, like, he was, he was out of there. Yeah, he died, like life, man. You gotta make sure you have everything in order. You just never know, like that's what that's what I was thinking about, like damn, for a person that's in shape like that, to be able to to, to, to be able to be in shape. Play soccer and run all the time like that. Like, well, we don't know what his lifestyle is, but it's just like, I w- I would like to think that he he-, he a healthier person. Like, that mean that people that ain't on that, like, you gotta like, we gotta like, gotta get his life in check. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, like your body going your body gonna tell you. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, he he w- it was just amazing. Like how I saw, like I ain't never seen a soccer player. Like, I ain't never seen that happen. Like, person just fall a lot like that during the. During an athletic event like that, that shit crazy. Like, actually die. He did, he did die. Like, that's cr- that was wild. I couldn't believe that shit, cuz. I'm like, no, man. The man just fell out on the soccer field like that. Just that shit was wild, man. And I got another uh, another thing. Uh, what's up? What's up? What's up, man? What's up? What's up? Everybody think they think, think they uh Roy Jones and stuff. <laughs> Everybody think they might, might, might Tyson, Tyson and stuff like that, man. Yeah. Them boys, Antonio Tarver, them boys bumping. Lie, man, that shit, that shit be, that shit be, that shit be funny though. I would rather them fight than be out here killing each other and shit. Cause I think it's entertaining. It be entertaining to me. Cause I, I like it. Like I be, I like the exhibition shit. Like I like the Floyd shit. Like I like. I think it all started off with, with uh, Nate Robinson. No, yeah, no, 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 no. I don't think it. I think it did, cause cause he was the first non-boxer to fight somebody like re, like the recent that we knew. Conor McGregor, Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather kind of orchestrated that, because when Conor McGregor coming from the UFC, even though that's a fighting arena, him coming to boxing was like another you another celebrity in a whole other field coming to boxing to fight a boxer. I think that gave birth to this, like you know what I'm saying, like well people ch- people can do this now, like I was thinking, cause. When I seen that with the Floyd and the Logan, and then I see all the YouTubers and the TikTokers fighting, I'm like, shit, that, like, like I was telling you earlier, cause like we need to, they need to do that in the hood, like, man, get 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 with, get with these boxing gyms around here, man. If y'all boys beefing in the city instead of y'all spinning and all that shit, man, you get your crew, he you get his crew, y'all promote a fight, y'all put money up that way, one of y'all can get y'all ass beat. Whoever, whoever the better man is, and then both of y'all can leave with a bag. Like y'all sell tickets in y'all neighborhood. Y'all get with a DJ or a promoter like 4D or you know H dot anybody in the city like this. Y'all get together. Y'all promote the fight. Y'all have a fight at a venue. Y'all charge just like y'all charge for a show in the city. Everybody go see whoever finna get their ass beat. Y'all been promoting. Y'all be we be promoting anyway on IG, cuz telling nigga what we gonna do to him on IG and Twitter and all that. We can promote the fight on there like that. Da 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 da. Make a killing, cuz. It'll never happen. <laughs> <laughs> that shit sounded. That shit sounded so good. I ain't gonna lie, cuz I'm like, God damn, that bitch, that bitch, yeah, that boy, that boy spitting, boy. That shit sounded so good, boy. It'll that never shit. happen. Niggas ain't gonna make it, boy. That shit will never. Nigga know you on your way to the fight. Nigga that got shot in traffic, cuz. That shit will never happen. Shit will never happen, man. Niggas never, I mean, that, that, never let you make it, bro. That shit sound good, sound though. It. Very good. You gonna, you gonna be young? It is, cuz. It, it, it's like, why y'all niggas can't just fight, bro? Like, fight. Like, beat the man up. That that come with too many problems. Now, now everyone like, oh, you got your ass, nigga, gonna feel some way about it. You did. What's how niggas is, okay? But like you still way. alive, and you could do what they do, rematch, fight they, them again. They probably be too much in the way, cause Damn, bro. That's like, and you, like, and, and, cause you can't, you can't be too proud because y'all both leaving with a bag. You, yeah, you don't got, your, you got your ass. But he was the better man, but you leaving with a bag, like you leaving with money. And, but but to be honest with you, cuz people don't people don't say that what? when people fight. Now they said that by Nate Robinson getting his ass knocked because he got his ass knocked out. Like Nate Robinson was knocked out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But people don't talk about like when boxers get beat up, they don't clown them like a nigga getting beat up on the street. I'm sorry, not nigga, a person. They like real boxers, like so they know what come with that. Like, 
but you don't. But but it's just, like it's a fight. So whether he get beat out, beat up out here on the street or he get beat up in the ring, it's still a fight. People lose and people win. If you can't, if a professional fighter that got money on the line, he gonna still get paid. But I'm saying a professional fighter that's fighting for a title, if he get get knocked out and get up and people don't say nothing about it, then it should It's a street fight. Somebody got to win. Cause they move. probably gonna feel like, oh, he 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 uh put his all into it. Like he, it was good at fight. So they gonna probably feel like, but he still got knocked. man probably put his all into it too. Not training wise, but, but I'm saying he probably fought a good. Like he probably fight. He fought a good fight. He just lost. You know what I'm saying? Like he just lost, bro. But what I'm saying is, what I'm talking about is the orchestrating of the fight. Like I, I, I fuck with it. Cause I like it. Like I, it be entertaining to me. Like, hey, ain't I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with them boys fighting. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with them boys fighting at all. Well, we gonna yeah, but that shit, that shit sound lit like that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like like a like a park or something like that. How to bring the kids out, bring the food, right? Bring the grills out. How basketball games, boxing, flat football. You know what I'm saying? That shit gonna be dangerous. That shit sound lit though, cause well, you gotta have sound the whole, lit. you gotta have the whole force out there. OPD out that bitch. Swat. Big ass truck pulled up, dogs out there. You got you gotta have the the, the, the command center pull up to that bitch. You wanna know something crazy, cuz? Right. People might talk that shit about me about saying this, but the only way, only reason why that wouldn't happen is because of us. We would be the we would, black people would be the be we would we would we would stop that shit from happening. Cause we not gonna do right. If if. If we did right, shit like that could happen all the time. And what be making me so mad? Cause we always be talking shit like we bored. Shit ain't man. We ain't outside. But when soon as we get out, we get outside. Cause and we get the we get to hanging out. Nigga wanna shoot. Nigga wanna. You rule. We that's why we can't have no fun. That's we how the police reason why we can't have no fun. Send everything down before it gets started. Yeah, we the reason why we can't have no fun. We be looking to point finger at everybody. To put, it be us. We can't like. We don't be thinking about it like, man. If we want this like, like a situation like freak me or some shit, just an example. That's some old shit, but like, black beaches and stuff like that. Like, if we want this stuff to keep going on, we got to put pressure on these folk to not be able to stop it. Like, nah. Every time we get together down here, it be nothing but fun. It be nothing but lit lit time. Like, don't nobody die. Don't nobody get shot. Like. It make it hard for the city to shut that event down. You know what I'm saying? We be making it easy. But if they know some 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 shit happen every event, they gon' they gon' they gon' they gon' they go they go they go try to they everything in their power to, to stop that shit from happening. So they gonna shut the event down before that shit even start. You right, bro. That's just that's just what it is. But uh, yeah, I, I I I like the I like the uh, the exhibition fights, cause that boy Floyd wrapped up ain't good. 30 mil before he even fought. Before he even stepped in the ring. Before he even threw a punch, cuz. That boy was like this the whole fight, cuz. That boy wasn't hitting nothing but gloves. If you if you peep, he knocked Logan ass out, but he, he caught him. And that's what that's another mm-hmm. thing, cuz. These folk, these, cuz, I be, t- these folk be talking about, man, bro, for, for, for one million, I'll fight Floyd for one round. One million, I'll fight Floyd for three rounds. Floyd ain't that big, bro. Floyd will knock you the hell out, man. You people, people, people be having false like people in their mind. Cause people' imagination is crazy. He may like, look low as fuck to you, but man, knock you the hell out. And in that ring with them hands, knock your ass. <laughs> look how much bigger that man is than him. You can you can run around, you can hop around that bitch all you want to. He gonna catch your ass. <laughs> Cause what 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 once you once you throw that throw that throw throw, throw that one punch and you and you miss. You know, fucked up, cause he gon' he gon' ball weed that shit and uppercut your ass. Can <sighs> I say he gon' catch you? <laughs> the ring on the bus so big, he you can't run forever in that bitch. He gon' catch your ass. Hey, them boys be trying to them boys be trying to bob and weave. You is not mom and Ali. You can't dance forever, man. Cause cause when you throw punches all for he gon' he gon' be like Ooh, like this, and when you miss. He gonna, he gonna capitalize. left hand underhook your ass. <laughs> you gonna be blinking and sniffing this. Man, you on the canvas, man. You down, man. 
That shit wild, cause I, I just don't understand. I just don't be. I just don't understand how people can like hate on that man. Like Florida is a genius, man. Like and he entert- He ain't been nothing but entertaining to me his whole career. I rock with Floyd. They might say, "Oh, he 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 can't he can't read or something like that, man." Yeah, man he, 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 what he got to read for? What he got to read for? He spent his whole life boxing. He dedicated his whole life to boxing, and he and 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 it, and it turned out great for him. You was in school reading and 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 learning all that shit. You ain't making thirty million. Now nah, some people read because and make it. I'm just saying he ain't doing bad for himself, and I'm sure he know how to read. Nah. So it's like, hey man, they said the same shit about Fantasia, and Fantasia, probably one of the greatest vocal women vocalists ever. So, and she can read now. So, people just need to mind their own business with that. Don't worry about a person's education. He probably felt like I ain't, ain't no need of me going to school. I know what I'm gonna do with my life. I'm a box. I'm gonna just be a boxer. So, uh, you know, something else I want to talk about, cause um, I had it here in my notes. Oh, so uh, native Orlando Magic player Terrence Ross. Um, I read a story, an article about him. He got an orange Lamborghini, cause you know, Urus, that thing, sweet. You know what I mean, look like a look like a look like a tangerine or a naval orange sliding through the city, man. They got it though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Them boys got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they say they stole his uh he stole his Lamborghini from the dealership. And then later crashed it, totaled it. Man, car gone, man. Cause how how would you feel? You at home, you got a call. Oh, blah 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 blah. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. A car has been totaled, and you in your head like, how my, how my car got totaled in this in this at, at this shop? And you're like, oh yeah 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 yeah. I know I know, but somebody broke in the shop. Uh, not just any shop, cause Lamborghini. <laughs> The dealership, <laughs> the dealership, cut and, and, and stole it. So you mean to tell me all the cars on the on the on, on the lot, and they pick my car? <laughs> <laughs> they pick my car. Yeah, they they wanted they wanted yours probably because all the other ones probably they ain't souped up like his. Cause like his probably oh, had yeah. the rim. Like he probably had them already did all that. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, but or they, they could have knew that that was his car. Like but you think about it though. That's not only Lamborghini. That, I think I think that's Rolls Royce, all in yeah. one. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure it was a hella cars in that vehicle. Yeah. But you know, jets, cause they probably the jets. Oh, Lamb. They, oh, I see a Lamb. They probably saw the first Lamb and yeah. took that bitch. But right here, you know, you ain't got a lot of time, cause before the alarm start, wait, wait, wait. you got you got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Them boy probably seen the best best thing they seen. Coast that coast, coast through the drive through. Yeah, man. That's you know what I mean, but. It make you it make you think about investing in um that material shit, cuz. And it make you also make sure you get some good like you were saying earlier, like a warranty and good insurance on that shit. Cause so like, I'm pretty sure if, if he ain't had no insurance, the dealership gonna no know insurance. You no know I'm saying like if he oh. did it, like the dealership gonna cut him a, a bad check, cuz. Nah, if he ain't had no insurance, he out of there. Cuz they broke into the, the dealership. Come on now. You don't think so? I don't, well, I don't know. I feel like the dealership by them, yeah. Because it's like, it was in y'all care. Because once you, because I believe once you, when you take this shot, you, you sign paper saying, it, it happened to my vehicle, it's on y'all, right? When, when you, when you, when you oh, drop your car, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, you right, cuz. He can sue the hell out of them, too. Because I, when I, when I tell my drop my car for Geico to get fixed, I had to sign a waiver saying it had, it had this many miles on it. It was oh, like yeah, this, yeah, like yeah, all that. Yeah. Yeah, he can sue the hell out of them, cause he can say I left my car with y'all and my car got totaled. Like, what? What about y'all security system? Y'all ain't had the proper stuff going on. Like, all I know is I went to sleep with my Lamborghini in one piece, and woke up in the middle of the night and my Lamborghini was on the side of the road in pieces. That shit was crazy, cause. But shout out to that boy Terrence Ross, man. You know what I'm saying? Mess with the up and coming podcast, up and coming show podcast, man. We need some, need some tickets, man. You know. <laughs> Front row seats at the Magic Game. I'm going to have my jersey on. Penny Hardaway jersey. Cause Tracy McGrady jersey. We'll be front row, man. Yeah, with it, with it, with it, with it, with eventually, it, uh. eventually cause I cannot wait until we win the finals. When the Orlando Magic is in the finals, you ain't going to be able to tell TJ nothing. I'm going to be 
I'm gonna be there, cuz. I'm gonna be there. In this in the Amway. Cuz that big on me. Whole West the Atlanta in the Amway. They and, and, and you and the thing about us, cuz, our concert gonna be lit. Our concert, the, the final, we're gonna have a concert, it's gonna be lit, cuz. Whoop, move, glock, <laughs> booty, all them boys. Whole concert before the final cut, man. After party, yeah, man. And, and think about this, though. We'll care if we lose the final. We, 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 we made it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cuz. Think about it. This been, this been, man. We could, we could, we could get swept the whole series in the finals, cuz. But we made it. Every night is gonna be a party, cuz. If we win one game in the series in the finals, one out of six, lit. Whole city, lit. Them boys ain't got to do nothing else, man. Shit crazy, man. Got anything else, cuz? Nah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one more thing. I got one thing for y'all. This this may sound like 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 a, like a mine or some shit, but yeah, what you mean? Not. This man was on child support, and for his final <laughs> payment, he he rented a a, a trailer. Yes, sir. Fill that bitch up with, I think it was eight. Eighty thousand or eight hundred thousand pin? No, I think it was eighty thousand. Eighty thousand pennies. How much that is, cuz? Like what? Eighty. Yeah, cuz don't make us <laughs> don't, don't make us look like we remedial. <laughs> don't, don't, don't make us look. Eighty thousand yeah. pennies is. They go they go they go chop this video up and make memes on us, cuz. Eighty. See, we know the answer. But see, we just really see this don't turn into an educational the segment of the Up and Coming Show podcast. See, we try to see what y'all know. You know that's, what I'm saying? That's <laughs> oh God, eight hundred dollars. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We see, we knew that, but we just try to make sure y'all is educated. You know what I'm saying? Like my boy Fat and Funny. You know what I'm saying? We we, we we just try to make sure y'all know. That's you know that's eight hundred dollars. So for the last payment of his child support, he rented a U-Haul. Drove to the the baby mama house, wife house, ex wife house, back that bitch in, yeah, and, 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 and uh, dumped the pennies on the grass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it drove off. Nah, as crazy as that story is, you can, you can Google that bit right now. Imagine all the shit she put that man through throughout the years for him for him to do something like that. Cause imagine all the shit he had to go. He probably went through hell that whole eighteen years. Cause pure. Hell, and then and then the wife was on a uh, she called on one so and so. I don't recognize him. She was lying the whole time. I don't know who it is. You know who the hell that is. You slept with him and got a baby. You have to know who it is. He probably went through pure hell, cause for you to go, how do you even find eight? How you find eighty thousand pennies? He probably was saving up to this day, cause that day started when the baby first got here. He probably said, "I know I'm gonna need this," and eventually, eighty thousand pennies, ladies and gentlemen. UNCF, 80,000. That's the correct number. 80,000 pennies, boy. Yo, that's some shit country Wayne to do, cuz. You know, he yeah, always talking about uh, child support. Blade, what, what, what's his name here? Blade? Not Blade. Uh, what, What's his name he was saying all the time? Uh, drip. Yeah, Drip. <laughs> <laughs> drip. Yeah, Drip. Drip gonna bring you 80,000 pennies. Yeah, it gonna... Hey, one thing about it, it gonna spin just... <laughs> it gonna spin just you like, like the dollars? rest. Yeah. Take the money, take the money. This, hey, this drill. He loves saying that. Hey, 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 hey. One thing about it, boy, this drill, yeah. Eighty thousand, bro. I'm thinking about doing some shit like that, cause when I when I put a down payment on my uh on my on my Bugatti. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting uh, a couple of pennies and driving up to the village. They gonna escort you <laughs> out the premises. They gonna call nine one one on your ass. They gonna get your ass out of here, man. I got eighty thousand pennies and I got a check for two thousand dollars right now. What y'all wanna do? Mm-hmm. Give me that hair cat. I want that care cat out there. That's like that's like my granddaddy. He he had he had told me a story about his cousin. He was like he, he, his cousin had went to the cat dealership, and he said I want two of them right there. And he went on the showroom floor and pointed at the two cars. He said right back I'm finna go to the bank. He ain't never come back. <laughs> they got the cars ready and everything. He ain't never come back. <laughs> he said I want two. I want I want that one. I want that one. I right back for his bank right quick. I'm, I'm right back. 
Sí, no, 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 I don't know what type of what type of individual you is to win two hundred eighty six million dollars and don't want to come for it. But I have on my ski mask, uh, gloves. I don't even want nobody to be, to be able to identify my finger, my fingertips. I have nah, on Michael Jackson gloves. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know the jackets, suit. them jackets that, that like cover up your whole face, like baby hat on. <laughs> I'm walking out like that so no I can no one know who know who it is. <laughs> I'm on me running this shit. I don't give a fuck. Everybody know who I am. Uh, if I hit uh, two hundred, if I hit that, just say I was the person. Uh, if I was at work, I'm gonna just quietly leave. So I'm talking about walking out like uh, like like. I'm, 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 I'm like man, I got a headache, man. I got, I got to go home. I, I, I don't feel. I, 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 I ain't going home though, cause when I get, there, I'm trying to go somewhere secure. I'm trying to go to a lawyer or something. I'm, I got to get this in order, man. And I want what I want to do because I want to move to an island, get my money, get my money right, get everything. And they, my family gonna think I'm, something to happen to me because they ain't gonna hear from me. I'm gonna be gone because see y'all ain't see the thing. A lot of it though, y'all ain't gonna know where I'm at yet because they gonna be like, dang, TJ, like they gonna put out APB. They gonna think I'm, they gonna think somebody kidnapped me or something. But all whole long time, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm straight, baby. I'm good. You gonna see me? I got the 286 million, baby. We good. Get to the island, cause see I'm gonna be on an island surrounded by water. You feel me? So when I send for y'all, y'all gonna have to come by boat. But before y'all get on the boat, you gotta sign like we were saying the waiver earlier. You gotta sign. You gotta give me your cell phone, and you gotta tie. You gotta tie, 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 tie the. Uh, what's color right here? Like on a movie. Yeah, so y'all don't know where you're going. <laughs> so y'all don't know how to get back. You know what I'm saying? And then when y'all get over there, y'all get y'all phone back and everything and stuff like that. I had the houses over there, y'all. We living, we living. If you wanna leave. You just got to go through the same process, cuz you get, get your phone, you tight, you know what I'm saying? Like on the movies. Yeah, that's, yeah, we gonna be off, we living, we good, you know what I'm saying? Send for my mama first. They gonna, they gonna put FB on, hey, man, you see this today, you see this today? No, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't seen him in Cug, Cug gonna know where I'm at. Cug ain't gonna be saying nothing, though. He know that 286 million over there. <laughs> Cause gonna keep my identity, keep my identity confidential. I'm like, man, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm like, man, he had went, 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 went with his girl, so I don't know where they went. I don't know where, I don't know where that, I don't know where that. He, he, he good though. I don't worry about the police. He good, he good, he good. Yeah, man, that shit crazy, cause. <laughs> and I was, two hundred eighty six, boy. You seen, uh, you seen on, uh, I seen earlier today where T Pain had got on. He went on the eighty five South show. Oh, yeah. uh, and he was talking about Nicki Minaj had ghosted him in 2007. I'm like, T-Pain was the biggest thing in the world in 2007, cuz. That's how I'm sprung, cuz. Buy you a drink. Stripper. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, y'all don't know what like, But he was like, T-Pain funny as hell, cuz. I ain't gonna count. That whole episode on Shout Out to 85 Star Show. That whole episode on that podcast was hilarious. That nigga is funny, cuz. I didn't think he was that funny. He funny, though, in real life. But he from Florida, so what would you expect? You feel me? And he from Tallahassee. Yeah, like what would you expect? Like, man, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. All Florida boys is lit, man. We all lit. Some of us crazy. Don't get it twisted. Some of us wild, cuz. You come down here, and you could, hey. You that's like hang it up. That's like he going on like Instagram and seeing like the, 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 the like world star shade room. It be like Florida man, let's shit. You know it's the. Cause I seen a headline while I was searching for this episode. A lady say she seen. Uh, <laughs> just say Florida lady say she seen on her on her camera in her backyard what looked like a baby dinosaur <laughs> running in the back. <laughs> she said she said it like a baby dinosaur running in her backyard. Only in Florida. <laughs> That's why I love it, man. I love my home. They probably took her out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> took her to Lazada, so took her. Hey, man, you okay? Probably took her out to the jail or some shit. For just calling in some shit like that. They <laughs> bring your ass on, man. You ain't seen no dinosaur. What if that lady did though? Yeah. What if she did? They'll never believe her though. Until the dinosaur got one of their ass, biting one of their ass, and she in the cell. I had to be on the movie cause. That's how it be when people be one. They think that one person crazy. Like I am legend, I am robot and stuff, man. All right. 
I robot or whatever. Them people don't be crazy, man. I ain't gonna lie though. If it was some if it was some dinosaurs still around here, we know. Motherfucker, somebody in the hood been on road one or something. <laughs> try to jump on that. Try to try to ride it. Try to ride it. All kind of shit, man. He said, he said, try to ride where you niggas, niggas go. They do. They try to take a picture of that bill or, or, or get in their pet or something. Hey, boy. Man, them boy over there in the hood. I got a damn. They had a T T Rex over there. We got it tied up in the backyard. Man, he ain't got no T Rex. Go right over there. He charging everybody, cuz right before you get in the backyard, hey! He's gonna charge you twenty five dollars to see this T Rex, man. Let's get out of here, cuz we've been we we've been we've been rocking for a while, man. You got anything else you want to talk about, cuz? I had I had uh. I seen this video of 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 uh, of a uh, of, uh, of, uh, it was it was a man riding a donkey like it was a horse. <laughs> it was oh, a, coming out the stove. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> in Philly. <laughs> <laughs> that boy, that bit was moving, boy. <laughs> that bit was moving. Black people, man, I love my people, man. Y'all, hey, y'all keep being y'all, man. We be talking, we. We, they, man, y'all keep me in, y'all. Cuz, that nigga was riding a, a donkey. Yeah. That shit crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah. Black people, man. Y'all keep being, y'all. Yeah. Let's do it, sir. That's gonna be it. That's it for this week, episode eight. Another, another lit week. Another lit episode with the boys, TJ and Larry. Um... And like I always say, man, if y'all watch us on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, the Up and Coming Show podcast, TikTok, the Up and, Sh- the Up and Coming Show podcast. Um, and we will be on Spotify soon, probably this week, probably this week, because uh, Spotify, you know, all the other podcast platforms. So y'all stay tuned and look for us. It will be the Up and Coming Show podcast on all those platforms, too. And, you know, y'all get more active with us. If y'all watch us every week, you know, don't be afraid to comment on what we're talking about. If you agree, if you don't agree, if you disagree, if you got something that you want to input, things you might tell us to look into and talk about next week. Um, So, yeah, man, that's another another episode for the Up and Coming Show podcast, man. Yep.